Okay, uh, this is the earwax ear irrigator. It looks like this. You fill it with just warm water and spray it in the ear. It has a bunch of little reusable tips. It worked really well on my daughter's ear. She makes excessive earwax. My son also used it, so it tickled a little, but wasn't really uncomfortable. It also comes with these tools for getting earwax out. I will say, you know, this is something you need to be careful. You shouldn't ever put something in your ear further than you can see. So, you know, if it moves some earwax to the edge where you can see it, but it's not coming out, uh, they have these little, like, teeny tiny spoons to scoop it out. Again, though, not for putting deep in your ear. That's just for where you can see. It came with this, which you put the person's ear in this, and then you spray, and it made very little mess. All the earwax and liquid went right into this cup really nicely. It also has a little bulb syringe. Not sure what that's for. And then this cloth that you could put again for added to keep yourself dry or to dry your ear off afterwards. A nice little microfiber cloth. We uh, have been pleased with this. We will definitely keep using it. I've used it already twice on my daughter. She makes a lot of earwax. Works really good. This shoots like I'm not going to do it, but it shoots like 20 feet across the room if you if you just try to shoot it. So it has pretty good power, but it is designed for a ear. It's not going to shoot it. It's not going to shoot water too hard. This is the, the safer way to, to clean your ears. It's very similar to what they use in the doctor's office. I watched them uh, clean my daughter's ears in the doctor's office. This just honestly is, is better. The doctor had one little syringe they had to keep filling and squirting, and this can hold a lot of warm water. Do you know you have a really grubby ear? We're just gonna clean her ear out with this. It's lukewarm water. They said you can add a little vinegar, but you don't have to. And this is safe? Yeah, you can also cut the tip if you need to. It, it tickles a little. can see some earwax came out. So this is cleaning out her ears. Yeah, we're getting earwax build up out. You see that stuff in there? Yeah, a little bit. This is just water? Yeah, just warm water. Is Maybe. it uncomfortable? It tickles a little. If it, if it starts hurting you, you should stop. If you have an impacted eardrum, it says you should stop. No, she doesn't look like she's in any pain. No, it just tickles a she's little. She's like, what's going on here, though? I'm going to give you a little rag. Can you hear better out of that ear? <laughs> well, that's a lot of stuff in there. That's kind of gross. What do you think? Looks much prettier in there. You got to do the other ear? Can we tickle your other ear? You see that? I think I saw a chunk come out, yeah. Oh, you see that chunk? I think I maybe did. I don't see that thing. There's definitely some chunks in there. That's what we got out of her yeah. ears. Gently. How you feel? You feel better? Can you hear better? Should be able to. <laughs> so need an earwax irrigator. It's a good, safe choice. If you'd like to purchase it, there's a link in the description. We get a small commission and it would really help us out. I'm Chris and with my wife Abby's help, I'm on a quest to review literally everything sold on Amazon. So if there's something that you need a review of, literally just tell me, let me know in a comment and I'll literally buy it and just review it for you, literally. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want